So if you have a Netflix account and you've been following the password sharing crackdown, well, we finally have some more information. Netflix start cranking down on password sharing in four countries when we have some details. We're going to jump right into it. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's go. We know that Netflix trialed the password crackdown in some countries in South America last year, and this year they're really looking to spread this out more widely across the rest of the world. So there have been a lot of speculations on how they're going to plan on rolling this out. So a lot of concerns on the comments in my videos. Some people maybe have two households, they travel back and forth, or some people may have a, a daughter or son that's away in college and really wanted to know how Netflix is going to account for those circumstances. So we finally have some details. Let's go ahead and jump in to it. So Netflix on Wednesday outlined its long awaited password sharing guidelines starting first with users in Canada, New Zealand, Portugal and Spain marketing the latest steps in the company's telegraph crackdown. The streaming company says users in those countries will be asked to set the primary location for the Netflix account and will be allowed two sub accounts for users who don't live in that home base household. So this is some good information here. This hopefully kind of alleviates some of the concern with some folks. So look like you set your home location. Let's say I live in Orlando. I'll set that as my primary location. And we also set two sub accounts for users who don't live. So maybe I have a daughter away in college, let's say in New York, and I have a son that's working maybe in Miami or something, I can set two sub accounts as well. Beyond that, the company will charge monthly fee per user. So in Canada, it's gonna be $7.99 Canadian dollars, which I think uh, US, that's probably about $5 or something like that. $7.99 in New Zealand and $3.99 euros in Portugal and $5.99 euros in Spain. So you guys can pull out the conversion if you want to see how much that's gonna be in US dollars. My suspicion is that the US will probably be rolled out last. So Netflix said today over 100 million households are sharing accounts impacting our ability to invest in great new TV and films, said Ching Yong Long, I'm sure I butchered that, the company's director of product innovation. Netflix is testing its password sharing restrictions outside of the US before rolling them out domestically in March. So that timeline that it provided for the US, I believe was the end of March. So by April, this is gonna be a thing in the US as well. The price in Canada could forecast end the program's US debut. So let's just do the conversion Canadian to US. So 7.99 Canadian roughly is 594 which is a weird number so maybe we'll see that 599 or maybe a 499 price so that's probably what we should expect for additional accounts so the changes announced Wednesday will roll out right away along with new manage access and devices page that will allow users to curate who has access to their accounts. So if an account has more than the maximum profiles allowed, the user will be able to transfer surplus profiles to a new account and save additional fee. The transferred profiles will maintain all their personalized recommendations and viewing history from the original account. So that's at least comforting. So if you're someone who fall out of the realm within that sub account and you get kicked off essentially, then you'll be able to keep that account or keep the information, but then you will uh, either have to pay for it or the owner of that account will have to pay the additional 7.99 Canadian or euros or whatever uh, country you're in. So Netflix said it plans to revisit and refine the new account management page based on user feedback. So the user guideline comes after the streamer posted a huge beat in subscriber numbers for the fourth quarter and announced that the former CEO, Reed Hashtons, would step down. The company announced last fall that it would limit password sharing with the stalling of subscriber growth in the US region. So a couple things, um, I'm sure a lot of people are relieved because in honesty, I don't think people are, are scamming or they're selling additional accounts or anything like that. I think genuinely most people have an account, they have family members that they have on it. But now the fact that they allow two sub accounts that doesn't live in the household, um, plus your main location, that should give you some leeway to at least share with a couple folks before you have to pay those additional fees. Let me know your thoughts on this one. This is from CNBC. I'll go ahead and link the full article. Probably drop something in the community section as well where you can go ahead and vote. Let me know how you feel about these outline um, changes, guidelines for sharing accounts. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.